Hey guys, welcome back to some more volts. So, I'm gonna continue on with, um, yeah, you can just power armor. So, I've showed you the chest plates and the legs. So, I've still got all their powers, which is totally bossness. I haven't showed you what this glove can do. Okay, um, let's make friend there. He might join Noplecast if he convinces Logan. I don't think that's going to be possible. But anyway, so today I'm going to show you the boots. In order to do this, I need to go into survival. So, when you go up, um, you still do take fall damage. Well, you're supposed to anyway. Well, I don't know why I'm not taking fall damage. Uh, that's why. Um, nope, that's not why. <laughs> anyway, so I should be taking fall damage, but I'm not. Anyway, so but the, the movement here in the boots, there are these jet boots and. Alright, here, I'm gonna have to pause recording until my friend did not text me right now. Alright, so, anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm gonna need to get some things and go into creative mode again, so, we're going to need ion thrusters, ion thrusters, there we go, we need two of those, we need wool, don't ask me why, but we probably are okay. So jet boots, obviously, it's like the jetpack, except it says not as strong as jetpack. Now the shock absorber is what you really want here. Servo motor. See um, now what this does. Oh, okay. Nope. There. Anyway, what this does, now all fall damage you take has been absorbed by the boots, but it takes power. So, now, this is pretty awesome. So now, we're going to need some diamonds. Not diamond boots, but diamonds. So, I'm going to show you the power tool now. So there's this um, special thing called Diamond Drill Upgrade. Now we need a solenoid. Solenoid. And three diamonds, but since I'm on creative, I only need one. Anyway, obviously what that does is um, it turns this into a diamond pickaxe. So if I get obsidian here, and just set that there, and then go into survival. I believe this is why. Um, I forgot to also tell you that um, you might. Uh, give me a sec. All right. So the reason why I think that's not breaking the obsidian is because you're going to need. Um, this is this is really dumb of me. I should have done this before, but no, I didn't. Anyway, so. What you're probably going to need first is if you go to this pickaxe, the um, iron pick thing. And um, this is some controls how fast. So this is like extremely fast. And then this is like extremely slow, like a wooden pickaxe slow, which is crap. So you want it like all the way up. So now I think this should work. Yeah, see, look, there it goes. It's breaking. See? So, um... 
I can so you can now break obsidian in a faster way, which is like an extreme bonus there. But um you can also break anything with just this glove and it never runs out. All it runs out is is power. So that's really nice. Now there's more too. You can have um aqua affinity and obviously what that does you can um speed penalty using two underwater so um i can actually dig faster under the water and it'll basically be just like digging above ground so that's like an extreme bonus there you're gonna want to get that if you do a lot of underwater exploring so now there's some tools so i'm just gonna like a ton of iron so i'll just um I'll just look it up. Iron ingots. And I probably need a solenoid. Anyway, so. Axes. Um, yeah, that's an axe. Shovel. Same thing. I'm not going to do that, though, because you already know what shovels do. So, basically, you can now use this for anything in the game you can use it for um this is a pickaxe now and it can break anything you've got an axe to help you out the only thing it's not really good at is a weapon and um in the um earlier version of volts i might give you a, i might do a bonus episode but um they had like a plasma can that you could attach and i think you just like right click and like shoot stuff but um as you can see they did take that out. I don't know why, because that was awesome. And, um, helmet, there's not much. It's got the energy shield, the cosmetic stuff, like always. The only thing that's different, the environment, if you run out of air, it jolts the water around you, electri electrolyzing a small bubble to breathe from. So basically, like, added breathing time. Which, I mean, it's sort of nice, again, if you do underwater explorations. A lot of those are some of the main things, but most people don't. So, um, there's no point. The helmet is basically the most useless part of this entire kit here. The helmet's not the best. All you can really do is, um, get added breathing time. And a little bit more protection. So, um, that's basically it for, um, the power armor. The power armor's done. You've gone through every piece, the head, torso, legs, and feet. I've showed you how to charge it. I've showed you how to tinker it. I've even showed you how to use the power tool. So, um, I guess that wraps it up. Alright, so, um. Like and subscribe and tell your friends, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!